What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a 72 inch tall dueling tree target stand. We're gonna go with six inch AR500 paddles. I'm gonna show you guys start to finish from CAD drawing to CNC cutting. This is gonna include plasma table water jet and a CNC tube cutter. Let's get into the video. Guys, if you don't know who I am, I actually own BBC Off-Road and we build some of the craziest custom bikes you've ever seen from dirt bikes to trikes to quads, all kinds of fun stuff for the power sports industry. Check out that channel if you're into that stuff. However, we like shooting on the weekends. I actually started this channel a few weeks ago. I wanna give you guys, I guess, a kind of a behind the scenes look at my shop, but we're gonna do something different on this channel. I'm gonna show you how to build this dueling tree right here. This thing is as tall as I am. So let's get into the CAD drawings. I'm gonna show you the original design, where my head was going with it. Now, I wanted to incorporate a couple things like folding legs ease of use i want to be able to take these paddles off real fast no nuts and bolts no no tools required to assemble this thing other than some pins and clips let's get into it So we got this fitting pretty well. It's time to cut the legs out. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys how this Bentec works. So if you've never seen this before, this is actually a CNC tube cutter. We use it for just about everything in our shop from swing arms to A arms to custom frames. So we're gonna start out with some one by two rectangular tubing. We're gonna get our design cut in it. Kind of give you guys a little rundown of what we got here. So I've got three legs nested on this tube. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and get it cut out. Uh, we actually do inject water through the tube. This gets us really clean cuts. Keeps the part cool while we're cutting, is when you're cutting with a plasma, it's actually putting the sparks in the opposite side of the tube. That's gonna keep everything nice and cool and it's not gonna warp. So let's see what happens here.
got it all sandblasted, looking really good. Just gonna get these tacked up and uh, see what they look like. than I imagined. Well guys, now it's time for the fun part. We actually gotta deal with a local metal yard. They had a pile of AR-500 plate. This is 3 8 thick. They actually torch cut it. It, was, well, it would have fit over here, but we're not looking to hold crazy tolerances on these being we're just shooting them. So let's go ahead and get them cut out on the plasma table. Take your chance. Next thing I'm doing, I'm getting these set up with the correct spacing. So I took some old DOM tube on the lathe. I'm actually gonna use this as a spacer, bolt these together for welding so they don't. All right guys, bear with me here. So we got some four by four angle. This stuff is quarter inch thick. We've got the AR 500 paddles right here. I'm excited to see how this does. Now, my biggest concern with this, this whole setup, number one, I wanted to use my CNC tube cutter to make the legs. I wanted them to actually be tube and hollow. They're extremely strong like this. Now we've got some pins right here with some clips. No tools required to assemble this. Basically these, these go together, they pinch on the legs. This leg is butted up here, that one's butted up there. Kind of keeps it in that orientation. This slips down in. And of course the paddles, if you want to just take them off real fast, it's not hard. I have this thing angling forward just a little bit. I might go a little taller on this back leg. Comment if you have experience with these guys. I'd like your opinions on it. I've got everything just tacked up right now. Now guys, in the next video, we're actually gonna take this thing out beat the crap out of it, get some ballistic therapy in, and test it. I want to see how this thing's going to hold up in a real environment 
out in the dirt on some uneven ground and see what it does. Now, one thing that my buddy Jeremy, who've seen in some of the other videos, if you guys have been following us, he did say we should stake the, the feet down to the ground. So I have this hole right here. I'm actually gonna cut out some stakes where it can hook onto that hole and hold this thing to the ground. Now, if you live in Arizona like we do, it's kind of hard to pound a stake into the ground, but I'm sure I can get creative. Now guys, this stuff is crusty and rusty. It was sitting out in a metal yard. You're gonna have that when you buy steel. Comment below, let me know what color you guys wanna see these. I'm thinking like a flow yellow on the paddles, possibly like a military green on the frame and the legs, or maybe incorporate some black wrinkle powder coat like we do on the bikes. If you guys are actually interested in purchasing something like this and you don't have the time to make one, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't have CNC machines to speed up the process. You guys can actually go to our new website. It's bbctactical.com. We're gonna have our target stands on there. We're gonna have some apparel. We're gonna be adding all kinds of goodies on this website. So definitely check it out. Subscribe to the email list. There's gonna be tons of discounts in the future for anyone that has subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. We got tons of cool content in the future from more target stands. We're gonna have some six by six military vehicle builds, tactical overlanding type stuff. If you guys are gearheads, you definitely wanna check this out because this channel is gonna be a little bit of a mix between shooting, building, welding, fabricating, and of course, vehicle builds. I'll see you in the next video.